Hi, I'm Ryan Walker from the Sax Pro Shop here at MusicMedic.com, and this is part one of our saxophone key fitting series, Swedging. First, we're going to need to talk about exactly what swedging is. Swedging is when you have a key that's just a little too loose, maybe you have a little bit of lateral play, maybe there's some oscillating play. And when we swedge, we actually tighten that hinge tube around the rod so it doesn't move left or right and there's no oscillating play when we're finished. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the tools we're going to need. I have some three-hold parallel Music Medic swedging pliers. I also have some single-hold Music Medic swedging pliers. Here is a hinge tube cutter. I have a couple screwdrivers, and then in both an inner and an outer deburring tool. So the area that we're going to swedge today is right here, this B key. You can see it's a little loose. First thing I'm going to do is take off the keys. I'm going to use my spring hook and release the springs. This will make it a little bit easier when I go to remove the rod. Very important detail when you're swedging is make sure that you always have the hinge rod in the hinge tube anytime you're swedging. So I'm going to use my parallel Music Medic swedging pliers. I'm going to use this middle hole. Okay? The way I'm going to actually swedge is I'm going to squeeze this pair of pliers, then I'm going to release and I'm going to rotate it usually about a half of a turn. Okay? I'm going to squeeze again, maybe another half turn rotation, another squeeze, another rotation. What's happening is this hole is actually contracting and actually making this hinge tube smaller and tighter around this rod. It's not only doing that, but it's lengthening it as well. So when I swedge, I like to see if I can get both sides of the hinge tube, not just one side, both sides. It's a lot more stable. And now I can check my fit. Chances are because I've swedged on either side, I've actually lengthened this tubing to actually be too long. So what I now have to do in order for this to fit is actually cut it back. What I'm going to use for this is my hinge tube cutter set, which is this right here. So I use a pilot rod that is big enough to fit through the hinge tubing, but not too big. Right? Then I use my double-ended cutter, and this is cutting on the pull stroke. So I'm going to hold my key, I'm going to pull, and then rotate the cutter. As you can see, it's getting me a nice parallel edge. I'm going to do the same thing to both sides. Again, cutting on a pull stroke. After using our hinge tube cutter, a lot of times there's a burr at the end of this hinge tube. So I'm going to use my outer burr to remove that. I'm going to use the ball burr to remove the burr on the inside of the hinge tube. Make sure you do both sides. And now we can check our fit. And as you can see, after swedging and then cutting that hinge tube back to fit, we have no more play within the mechanism. This is going to result in key work that lasts longer and is super quiet. <music>